Hi, I'm David Savard, Publicity Chair for the Charleston Symphony Orchestra League. Welcome to the Henry Street House, built in 1840 on the foundation of an older home built in 1804, destroyed in the Ansonboro Fire. Henry Street built the house in 1840 on the raised basement of the original structure, and then in 1845, he virtually doubled the size of the smaller Charleston single house, creating this beautiful double house with this amazing front piazza designed by Kim Rayburn of Kim Rayburn Interiors, or luxury, Charleston Luxury Interiors with Kim Rayburn, rather. So come on in, we'll take a look at the foyer and living room designed by Mitchell Hill of Charleston. As you tour through the house, you'll notice there are placards indicating the designers for the room and the sources from which they've found the furniture and the fixtures throughout the rooms and posters indicating models who were provided by local clothing designers and local clothing stores to pair specifically with the decor of each individual room. So this is the living room in this beautiful warm charcoal color with really great vibrant art. And then behind it is the dining room. And the dining room was designed by Holly Hollingsworth Phillips of the English Room of Charlotte, North Carolina. And she's used these amazing violet and orange colors and the lilac colored ceiling and beautiful purple Venetian Murano inspired chandelier. The piece of art above the table is actually made out of bottle caps and it was commissioned for this room. And then we can step across the hall to the music room, which was designed by Bobby Joe Engelby of Domain Interiors and Design here in Charleston. And of particular note, in addition to this amazing Steinway & Sons player Spirio piano, courtesy of the Steinway Piano Gallery of Charleston, is this amazing hand-painted, stenciled, and Venetian plastered wall in these Chinese garden chinoiserie patterns that were commissioned by a local artist, Aubrey Brackett. Bobby Joe also designed the adjoining bathroom, which at one point was a connecting point to the kitchen, which is behind this room. There's a powder room on this floor as well, designed by Terry Baldwin of TCB Interior Design, or Design Interiors, and she also did the bathroom in the master bedroom upstairs, the master bath, designed by Terry Baldwin of TCB Design Interiors. It's a beautiful powder room. And then right behind it is this amazing kitchen. Some of our wonderful guests, Jay Valk and Melanie Valk of Classic Kitchens of Charleston and Coastal Home Interiors. This is the, uh, the current kitchen of the house, but when the house was first constructed, it was in a dependency behind the house, and it's this current space that go we're going to walk into, that is the men's study and the ladies' study. The kitchen was originally in this part of the house. Even in the mid-1900s, the kitchen was located in this part of the house, and then was later moved into the main house. So this is the men's study with the adjoining ladies' study, both designed by Alexander Florin of Charleston. And she's kept these beautiful brick walls and then added great art and color and furniture. And then when the owners move back into the house, they're going to use this as their guest suite. This is the ladies' study. Take a quick peek at the garden veranda here on the first floor designed by Kathy Austin of Katherine M. Austin Interior Design. And Kathy is from Charlotte, North Carolina as well. You can take a look down into our cafe. We serve lunch there Monday through Saturday. And there is a boutique and designer sales on the first floor, ground floor of the house as well. As we transition to the second floor, you'll notice the beautiful art upstairs that's provided by Mary Frances Bishop and Carol Williams of Charleston Art Brokers. And we can step into the master bedroom that was designed by Lauren Messina of Lauren Messina Interior Design. So we can 
can step into the master bathroom and it was designed by Terry Baldwin who did the powder room downstairs as well. And before the house was renovated, in this last renovation, the current owners purchased the house last June. The marble that's here is the surround of the bathtub also extended over to the left where the shower is located, but it was discolored. So between Terry, the designer, and the owners, they decided to remove the marble and put in tile, but then they continued the look of the marble in the vanities on the opposite side of the room with the ladies' vanity on the right and the men's vanity on the left. I want to point out this amazing laundry room by Kendrack and Cole Interior Designers. Jo Joanne and Kelly are from Kennesaw, Georgia, and they've turned this space into a really beautiful and inviting spot where who wouldn't want to come do laundry on a Monday in this room? The guest bedroom and bath were designed by Sandra Erickson of Sandra Erickson Design and by Gretchen Luz of Luz Interiors. And this room overlooks the garden and the cafe below. The hall bathroom was designed by Heidi Huddleston of Delicious Kitchens and Interiors. And Heidi has taken a garden theme and created this incredible bath space that's really just a private oasis. So it's a really beautiful garden bath with these incredible painted panels on the wall that give you the feeling that you're outdoors enjoying the garden of a wonderful old stuccoed home. Beautiful Carrera marble counters and terrific tile and beautiful colors and fixtures. And then the last room upstairs is the teen hangout designed by Meg Caswell of Meg Caswell Style. And notice this fun wallpaper on the ceiling that matches the blinds in the room. So what young teen wouldn't like hanging out in this space? With a candy bar in the corner. And then the final room upstairs is the second floor piazza designed by Latham Gordon and Kate Dunning of Gordon Dunning in Decatur, Georgia, a suburb of Atlanta. And they've taken great advantage of the beautiful breezes and the lovely view of Charleston Harbor and created these really inventive seating areas on both ends of the piazza. Let's go downstairs and take a look at the boutique and designer sales. So no visit to our Symphony Designer Show House would be complete without stopping to purchase a raffle ticket for this incredible Mazda Miata. If you'd like to take a picture of that. And it's about the only size car that would fit in that driveway too. <laughs> And we're also running a new, uh, oh gosh, what would we call it? It's a new event this year called Pursuit of the Podium, where four prominent Charlestonians, Kay Hyman, who's Director of Community Engagement at the Charleston Animal Society, Tommy McQueenie, a local businessman, writer, historian, and author, Mary White, an award-winning low country artist, and New York Times bestselling author, Mary Alice Monroe, are vying for the opportunity to conduct the Charleston Symphony during the Sunset Serenade concert that opens the Piccolo Splato concert, the Piccolo Splato Festival on May the 26th. So no visit would be complete as well without visiting our wonderful boutique and designer sales. So we have several rooms of beautiful clothing and home decor and serving items that you can purchase while you're here at the house.
That's awesome here, and I'm gonna come buy some stuff myself. Okay. So, so say hi. This is Stokes, Stokes Mazda is filming for their website. Isn't that cool? I absolutely hate Jody Beth, how are you? Isn't that wonderful? Gosh, those flamingos are great. I might end up having to get those. Very cool. And then clothing is in the room here in the back. Purses and scarves and other wonderful things. And welcome to the jewelry room. Hey, where one of our jewelry artists is actually here today as well. Jody Beth Gallows, absolutely, who designed this wonderful line of Mount Pleasant Memories custom beaded jewelry here on the left. I will show him my dad's beautiful boxes below. Yeah, oh my gosh, cool. oh those are gorgeous. Are those? Darn it, that's amazing. He decided that uh, operating on people, he was going to operate on wood. That's <laughs> wonderful. Gosh. Cool stuff. Isn't this? Yeah. Super cool. This is going on the Stokes Mazda website. So, And then welcome to designer sales. Most of the items in the house are for sale, so you can stop down here after touring the house and pick out some items, some furniture and accessories to have shipped to your home as well. So after we visit the boutique and designer sales, we can go out into the cafe. So please come Monday through Saturday and enjoy lunch in this amazing garden. The food is prepared by Mosaic Catering here in Charleston. And there are old Charleston favorites and a rotating special every day as well. So here in the garden of the house, we have the boutique where you can sit under shade or out in the sun and enjoy a wonderful lunch, a glass of wine, some terrific dessert. Thanks for visiting our 2017 Symphony Designer Show House, sponsored by the Charleston Symphony Orchestra League in support of the Charleston Symphony Orchestra and funding Low Country Music Scholarships. And thanks to our friends at Stokes Mazda. Please stop by and visit their showroom and come to 36 Society Street and visit the CSOL Designer Show House.